Hi guys, this is Sushmita and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you the clean girl makeup look or the clean girl look. So this clean girl makeup look has been trending on the internet. Like I have been seeing this thing on the internet for quite a while now. And that was when I realized like I was watching a few of these videos and I realized that this is the makeup look that I've been following for almost the last five to six years. So this is almost like the no makeup makeup look but with a little bit of differences. Also the makeup that I'm wearing right now, it is not the clean girl makeup look by the way. This is a different makeup look. So if you want to know how I created this look, then also comment down below and try to share this sort of a look with you guys now the clean girl makeup look really focuses a lot on your skincare routine like if you're following a proper skincare routine your skin is going to look really nice and glowy and the clean girl makeup look is going to suit your skin type but if you have not been following a proper skincare routine then don't worry i also have a hack for you as well and i'll mention that in the video itself also another thing that i'd like to mention about the clean makeup look is that it does not really use a lot of makeup products like i'll not be using any contour or any eyeshadow or any eyeliner kajal or anything of that matter I'll be using very basic makeup uh, tools also. It's very essential to properly, you know, like prep up your skin before you start with the makeup routine. You need your skin to be really hydrated, moisturized and nourished before you start with even your basic CC cream. Whatever you put as your base, like whether it's a foundation, a CC cream, whatever you use, you would want your base to be really nice and flawless. And since it's going to be a very like everyday natural nude sort of a look, you're not going to be using a lot of makeup products. We'll try to keep it as basic and as neutral as possible. And this is one look which I think is the most universal and it is in fact my favorite look because you can wear this to work you can wear this to college you can wear this if you're going out on a date movie shopping whatever in fact the best thing about this look is that it's so universal that even you can just change a little bit of elements like you can add a little bit of contour or you can change the lip color you can add a little bit of eyeshadow and it's going to completely transform the entire look so this is like a very basic recipe with which you can add a lot of elements and completely change it also we have a giveaway at the end of the video so don't forget to stay tuned till the end to know the details of the giveaway so now without any further ado let's get started with today's video now i've already prepped up my skin now the clean girl look is uh, largely based on your skincare routine and so prepping up your skin before putting on any makeup is the most important thing in making your clean girl look look really nice so i am going to be starting with my face wash so the face wash that i've used today is the face shop twinkle party herb day master foaming cleanser so this is the thing in fact i mentioned it in one of my previous videos and this one is like something which is perfect because it has got the really nice texture and it really gives that clean and squeaky clean sort of a feeling and at the same time it's not super drying on your skin so it leaves your skin with that hydrant and nourished look which you would be looking forward to in the clean girl makeup look now well basically the clean girl look is more like a no makeup look and you're basically showing off your nice and healthy skin which like you know will happen if you're following a regular skincare routine but for the people who are at all not regular with the skincare routine fret not because sheet masks are for your rescue so if you have not been regular with your uh, skincare routine but you really want to pull off that uh, clean girl look and you're fretting okay, what i'm going to be doing so don't forget to use like a sheet mask so this is a face shop's pearl brightening face mask and i have used a lot of face shop uh, face masks or sheet masks this one is like really good because it kind of gives your skin and your face like an instant hydration and it kind of makes your skin look really nice and glowy and if you're going for that clean girl look you would want to look glowy inside out like not just from your makeup but you would want your skin to glow as well so it's very important that you definitely use a sheet mask if you have not been regular with your skincare routine okay so for my toner today i've used the dermafix cell by cell skin toner now also I mentioned it in one of my Instagram stories Now the best thing about this toner is that it's alcohol free so it does not dry your skin out and the last thing which you would want when you're doing the clean girl look is to have a dry skin you would want to add as much hydration and nourishment as you can okay so now to add an extra bit of hydration and nourishment I have used the L'Oreal Revite Lift Crystal Micro Sense Serum Soothing Serum so again I've mentioned it in one of my previous videos this is really nice and hydrating especially it is a very watery consistency it won't add any less to your makeup neither it would make your makeup look heavy or anything like that it's just going to give that exact amount of hydration which you would need your skin would need to have that really nice plump and glowy look and i guess by now you have understood how important it is to prep your skin before you go for this clean girl makeup look or the clean girl look now i have been as i said following this look for like years and ages even before knowing that this is like a look okay now heading on to the moisturizer this is one moisturizer which i think i have mentioned like innumerable times in fact all of my get it with me or my makeup looks have this moisturizer so this is the lacme speech milk soft cream moisturizer in fact 
I don't know for how long I'm definitely going to be using this moisturizer in all of my makeup looks because this is like so nice and hydrating and nourishing, moisturizing and every good thing. And the best part of this moisturizer is that it's not greasy, it's not too heavy. So you can definitely wear this and have like the glowiest look ever. So now that my prep up is done, I'm going to start on with my makeup. So I'm going to be using the Lacme's 95cc cream and this is in the shade of beige. So again, I've mentioned it previously. If you have not watched my previous video, then do check it out. I'll link it in the description box. So this is one cream that I absolutely love using. In fact, I've also created a makeup look using this one. So the thing I like about this uh, CC cream is that it also contains like an inbuilt SPF. Also, the CC cream is not like too heavy on your skin. It does not make your skin feel like you have put on a lot of makeup, but it gives a really nice even tone to your skin, which kind of gives it the perfect look which you'd want in the clean girl look. Also, this has an inbuilt SPF as I've mentioned, and also it's moisturizing on your skin. So this is the thing that I'm going to be using as a base. So I'm just going to dot the CC cream on my face and blend it using my fingers. Okay, so I'm done blending my CC cream and my skin already feels really nice and dewy and this is exactly what you'd want. Next up, I'm going to just put a little bit of a lip balm to make my lips look nice and plump before I put the lipstick. Now, I won't be using any contour today, but rather I'll be using a blusher. So the blush that I'm using is the Faces Canada's Perfect Blush and this is in the shade of Coral Pink. So this is like an absolutely nude color. It's like very, very neutral and it's almost same as my skin shade. In fact, uh, this thing won't really give you that sort of a blushy look, but it's just going to make you have that hint of flush to your cheeks and nothing to like, you know, made up. It's going to look very natural when you put it on your face. So this is the blush that I'm going to be using today. Okay, so next I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. For that, I'll be using the Maybelline's Fashion Brow Duo Shaper. Again, I use this very often. This is like my go-to brow shaping or brow pencil. Okay, so done with my brows. Now next up, I'm going to be using my mascara. So the mascara that I'll use today is the Maybelline's Hyper Curl Volume Express Mascara. Now generally, if I'm doing like a heavy makeup look, I would generally use the Maybelline's Lash Sensational Mascara. This is like a very everyday sort of a mascara. You can use it for, you know, like going to work or college. And I think this one is perfect for doing this uh, no makeup or clean girl makeup because it does not give your lashes that sort of a volume, but it kind of, you know, adds a little bit of a touch to it. So it kind of looks like a no makeup look. So we are done with the mascara and now the last step in our clean girl look is the lipstick. So the lipstick that I'll be using today is the Lakme Absolute Matte Men Liquid Lip Color. And this one is in the shade of Natural Nude. done and this is what the look looks like and i absolutely love the way it turned out it looks so nice and natural it kind of looks like you just woke out of the bed and you just have some nice good filters but yeah this is what it looks like and i absolutely love the way it turned out and the best thing about this clean girl look is that you can literally you know change a little bit of elements like you can add some eyeshadows or you can contour or add a little bit of kajal or anything like that and this can literally transform the entire look like this thing is like so universal you can even like wear it during the daytime and then at night you can just literally use a very nice bright 
like red lipstick again it'll completely transform the look this is like so universal also this is like my go to look in fact most of the time that i'm going out whether it's for shopping whether it's to work or even i'm going out for like a movie or anything this is the makeup look that i generally uh, wear in fact i don't even like put on a lot of makeup like on an everyday basis unless i'm filming because this is something that i really like to go out in it does not look like you have put on so much of makeup but it kind of gives your skin and kind of makes you look really nice and confident so this is something that i would generally wear on a daily basis and I mean, I did not even know that I was following a makeup trend five years back. So yeah, guys, that was the makeup that I wanted to share with you all. If you like this, then don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and also share it with your friends. Also, if you follow this tutorial or this makeup look, then don't forget to tag me in your pictures. The details of the giveaway will be mentioned in the description box below. So don't forget to check out the description box. So yeah, guys, that was all for today's video, and I'll see you guys from the brand new video. So till then, take care and stay tuned.